The Freedom Summer Project of 1964 occurred in Oxford, Ohio, on the campus of the Western College for Women, now part of Miami University. It was a significant event that changed the course of the civil rights movement in the United States. Freedom Summer was a voter registration drive sponsored by civil rights organizations. Before summer 1964, only 6.7% of eligible Black Americans were registered to vote in Mississippi, which was a dangerous place for people of color at the time. The Freedom Summer Project was to become an important moment in the advancement of suffrage for Black Americans by focusing the nation's attention on the segregation, bigotry, discrimination, and inequality occurring in Southern states. Robert Moses, an American educator and civil rights activist, was a key organizer of the Freedom Summer Movement. Young student advocates gathered here in Oxford at the Western College for Women to attend lectures and nonviolent self-defense training to prepare them for Mississippi. After their training, the first group of volunteers left Oxford for their assignments in Mississippi on June 20, 1964, including three activists, James Cheney, Andrew Goodman, and Michael Schwerner. The following day, word reached Oxford that the three men were missing. Rita Schwerner was in Oxford when she learned of the disappearance of her husband, Michael, alongside James and Andrew. She demanded a government investigation and the FBI went to Mississippi to investigate their disappearance. Their car was found on June 23rd and their bodies discovered on August 4th. They had been brutally murdered by members of the Ku Klux Klan. The Freedom Summer 64 Memorial, which stands by Comler Chapel, commemorates Cheney, Goodman, and Schwerner, and honors the trainees who came to Western College to support Black American voter registration in Mississippi and beyond. Western College was absorbed into Miami University in 1974 and the memorial established in 2000. The idea for the memorial was proposed by Arthur Miller, a founder of Oxford's NAACP. Its design was conceived by Miami University architect Robert Keller. It operates as a learning and commemorative space and trees planted nearby serve as living tributes to the murdered young men. Western College is now declared by the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center as a freedom station. The Mississippi Freedom Project led to the development of freedom schools and community centers to support disenfranchised black Americans. Advocacy and support for voting rights, coupled with national attention to the murders of Cheney, Goodman, and Schwerner, led to the passing of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Today, Miami University is a steward for the history of Freedom Summer 64 and its contribution to the civil rights movement. Many politicians, educators, and leaders who studied at Miami University have continued a life of social justice. The Freedom Summer 64 Award is given each year in memory and recognition of civil rights and social justice champions, including those who trained at the Western College for Women. We invite you to visit the memorial and learn more online about Freedom Summer 64 and what it means today.